Good morning, Mission Prep. Good morning, everybody. We're excited that we have Spencer and River. Whoa. Oh, oh River. River, I don't know who that was. Uh, we're excited that, that we've got them, but first, let's go to prayer. Deacon Tom, Deacon Tom, say good morning to Deacon Tom. Hi, everybody. It's great to be back with you. This past weekend, we heard one of the famous Easter readings. It's called On the Road to Emmaus. It's the story after Jesus had risen from the dead, um, and he's walking the earth before he ascends into heaven in his glorified body. And he meets two of his disciples on the road to Emmaus, and they don't recognize him. And he starts to ask them questions, you know, like playing it really cool. And they still don't they still don't recognize him. In fact, they're really bummed out because um, they've lost Jesus and they don't know that it's Jesus that they're talking to. And it's not until Jesus invites them to a meal and he breaks the bread. It's at that moment that they realize and their eyes are opened that it is the Lord. What this story tells us, everyone, is that Jesus is one with us in the breaking of the bread, that Jesus in the Eucharist is with us in a very, very real and present way. So I know we haven't had a school mass in a long time, um, but I want to remind you that the Eucharist is an important part of the mass because in the Eucharist we receive our Lord in the breaking of the bread. If you want to see a Mass with me in it, um, you can go to nativityslow.org and you can see our Sunday Masses. And, you know, keep in touch with the Eucharist because it will feed you even through the digital airwaves. I hope to see you soon, everyone. God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we are back. We got birthdays. Willem Vanderhorst was April 24th. Happy birthday, Willem. And this weekend was Cole Jenkins, April 26th. Happy birthday, Cole. Hope you guys had a great birthday. And you can get your coupon uh, when school gets back for a free cookie. Uh, so, uh, let's start with River. What have you been up to, River? What have you been doing? Um, I've been playing a lot of video games, and I've been going outside and playing basketball a lot. I haven't really been allowed to go places. Um, so yeah, I've just been staying at home a lot. It's good. You're keeping people safe. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Spencer, what have you been up to? Um... The past two days, I've hiked like 12 miles, so that's been nice. fun. Nice. Yeah. What What are your and, favorite hikes? Um. Well, I did two new ones. Yesterday, I did um, Cerro Alto, and then the day before, I did the one, it's at the top of the grade. I forget what it's called, maybe Mount Low or something. Nice. Nice. You, yeah. Were you on the side looking down on San Luis Obispo or the other side? As far as I know, they both look down. <laughs> I mean, could you see the city? So true. So true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool up there. <laughs> TV Tower Road. <laughs> oh, I did the other side. Oh, okay. But I've done that. I got you. Well. Yep. Yeah. I've flipped off my bike on the really steep parts of that um, trail. <laughs> hey, what's the one above San Luis Obispo, like, high called? Like, is it Radio Tower or something like that? Oh, um, high school hill that's that yeah that oh, one's good. Are different, you're right. that one's good i like that one it's very have you hike have now. you hiked straight up or do you go around cross up straight up yeah that's a yeah that's a hard hike that's a good one though mm -hmm. uh hey steph i heard we got some uh updates on what's going on with uh school and community service we do. So obviously we're in unprecedented times right now. So we wanted to help you out a little bit um, because obviously you guys can't go out and do uh, community service as of right now or really school service very much because you can't come on campus. So what we're going to do for freshmen through juniors is we're going to um, 
split your um, time that you owe us in half. So basically go all the way through January. So that looks a little bit different from every single grade level. It's required only five hours this year and two hours of school service. Sophomores at seven hours of community service and five hours of school service. And juniors, it's 10 hours of community service and five hours of school service. So let me, let me fill you in a little bit. If you've already done your service, kudos to you. I'm super proud of you. If you have X hours over what I just said, we'll credit you for next year. So those can fold into next year. So you're not going to lose out on those hours. If for some reason you haven't gotten to your service hours yet, that's okay too. And you can make those up next year as well. So just so you know, we're trying to be as flexible as possible. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me and I can walk you through that. If you have not logged hours and you've actually fulfilled them, please get on mobile serve and log those hours so you get credit for those. Um, so we know that you've been doing them. So good job if you have been. If you haven't, no stress. We're gonna, um, we're gonna just take it day by day and um, help you out as we go. Seniors, this is a different story because it's actually a graduation requirement. So if you have not fulfilled your school or community hours, we're gonna actually have a project that we need you to fulfill in order to complete that requirement. That will go out um, sometime tomorrow to your um, emails, what that project is gonna look like. If you have service hours and you've completed all your hours, that's great. But if you haven't logged them in mobile serve, I need you to log them in mobile service so I know that you've completed those hours so we can check that off, okay? So a little bit different, we're trying to um, help you guys out out here and we're so grateful for all the work that you do in our community and our school but right now obviously it's different times so um, again if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Spencer's got a question. Spencer you have a question? Oh does <laughs> no. donating blood count for community service? Oh yeah I'll count that. I have you gone and donated blood? Not personally. <laughs> yeah but I was I wondering. That, yeah Obviously, we want people to be safe. We don't want you guys to put your families in jeopardy. Um, but if there are opportunities that come up, um, then we'll absolutely count those hours if you're doing something. So, uh, I, so students, go to www.bloodhero.com and you can donate blood. River, you have a question? Yeah. Um, so when are the hours going to be due for this year? Yeah. Like for so the Good question. So every year we have them due by June 15th. I know it's actually after our school year, but that's when we're going to cut off um, what mobile serve will continue to upload. So um, June 15th, you need to have all those hours recorded for this year. However, like I said, if you for some reason weren't able to get to it this year, then it'll just fold over to next year and you'll do a little bit more. Okay. Right. River, did you hear what we're doing with work study? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, so work study, it's kind of similar, but a little bit different. Uh, we're requiring all work study students to just do 16 hours, because that's how many hours we're due in February. <laughs> so yes. uh, we need you to do 16 hours. If you did more than that, you did the full 25, well, then we'll credit that to next year, okay? If you are short 16 hours, well, then you're going to need to make those hours up next year, okay? That makes yeah. sense. So what are some ways that I can do those hours now? That might be pretty tough for you to get those, those hours yeah. out now. You might be able to email a teacher and say, hey, is there anything I could do at home? You know, you just can't do anything really at the school uh, right now, at least yeah. right now, the way the situation is. Um, but you could email teachers and see if there's any, anything that they need help in that you could do online. That's a possibility. Sure. But like I said, if you didn't get those hours done, we're just going to carry them over to next year. So you'll just have to do those extra hours next year. If worst case okay. scenario. Okay. Yeah. John. Yes, sir. Is that, it, it seems like this is a similar concept as student loans. Basically have all the fun now, but eventually you're going to have to pay the price. <laughs> is that a decent way? Uh, and to if you're it? really smart, <laughs> yes. you still pain as you go right uh -huh. yes, but, but right now in this uh uh home school thing that we're doing right now it's not really that much fun i mean yeah you're getting everybody's getting to play a lot more video games and stuff like that but the general consensus i have heard from the students is that they miss seeing their classmates every day 
And is that true, Spencer? We're having, and to, having to do all the work <laughs> yeah. of school yeah. and none of the fun of school. <laughs> is that accurate, Spencer and River? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's been talking exercise? Go. Um, for what I've been doing for exercise is I've been just, you know, I'm fortunate that I have acreage in my house and that I have a lot of room and I have a basketball hoop outside. Um, but some people don't have that. Like some people maybe don't have like a backyard or a front yard and or maybe they live in an apartment. Um, what you can do is that you can you can still contact uh, Brennan and he can help you find stuff for uh, you to get exercise. So we want you to stay in shape. We don't want you to come back 700 pounds to school. I'm heading there. I'm heading there. Yeah. <laughs> I've gained at least six. You might need to contact Brennan then. I think the I do. COVID-19. You don't want to put on the COVID-19. Yeah, you don't want to put on COVID, COVID weight. COVID okay. weight's bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you got to contact Brennan um, and he can always, he's still our acting um, sports Trainer. doctor. Trainer. 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 Um, and he can, yeah, another way to say it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, even if like you live in an apartment, he can find ways to help you exercise. Nice. Quick question. Is yeah. um, playing Xbox for 14 hours straight considered good exercise for your thumbs or would that be would you be at risk for an overuse injury? Um, and if you are, at what point in those long hours does the overuse injury come into play? Um, you know, I think if, if you're playing something for 14 hours, I don't think that's the healthiest. Um, for overuse, I mean, if you're, if you're trying to, like, hurt yourself, I mean, maybe you could ice your thumbs, maybe. <laughs> put some, put some, uh, what is it, bandages on your thumb? Use some sports tapes tape, on your tape thumb. Them. Tape them. Hey, Hitch, do you have any experience in that? 14 hours straight? <laughs> Does that sound familiar to you at all? Playing game? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a, that's a lot. Um, definitely a couple. A new game, I'm playing Forza Racing. It's pretty sweet. You go fast, and if you don't drive well, you crash into the wall. And the beautiful thing is you can hit the rewind button and it takes you back before you crash so you don't have to do the whole thing over again. Loving it. <laughs> For us amateurs, um, playing video games is nice. Spencer, you have any more announcements for us? Um, following along with that 14 hours, every 20 minutes you should be taking a 20 second break, looking at an object 20 feet away. Nice. Have you guys actually been doing that? Be serious. Yeah. You have you really? Yeah, actually. Maybe. Every 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm pretty purposeful about it. That's good. Good job, guys. Yeah. I need to start playing more video games. So I guess that's my problem. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I can help. <laughs> <laughs> I, the problem is I think all, all of our, like, uh, like, we have a PlayStation 1. I think we have the original Xbox. Awesome. So cool. is that, I don't even, like, I can't really play with anybody, right? I don't play with anybody because I'm not good enough. Except for my roommate, we're both bad. We talk about playing with people all the time. Yeah, but oh uh, well, I guess those are different games. <laughs> uh, Do you ride your bike at all, Pitch? Uh, today, I uh, actually yesterday I got the uh, the whole the whole house out on bikes. I got a couple, so I was like, "You're riding this one. You're riding this one." All they did was complain the entire time. My seat's too high. These pedals don't pedal. The chain, it doesn't shift. And I'm like, look at this beautiful sunshine. We're out cruising on this desolate area, socially distanced, enjoying each other's company, getting a little bit of exercise. My seat's not comfortable. Oh, oh, oh. We're more <laughs> calories. You live in slow, right, Hitch? Yep. Like, whereabouts? Did I <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like. Well, don't be like release that. Who wants to come hang? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Um, gonna shoot? I'm gonna shoot there's, this, there's this really good bike path that I used to do. Um, I used driver? to live in slow, and it's from it's from like I used to live by the airport, but like by the Marigold Center, there's this path that's like really nice. You ride along the train tracks, and it takes you all the way to like uptown slow. 
and it's really cool. I like it's I a beautiful that with my dad path, actually. If you lurked my Strava, you would see that almost all of my rides have that path as part of it because I live, yeah. I live near Shinsheimer. So um, it's pretty close to me. Yeah. It's a great area. I used to take the, the railroad tracks to go to college every day. Like I'd hop on the bike on the railroad tracks, but there wasn't really a, a bike path. So you yeah. were riding on the rocks, but I would start at where Hygera hits the railroad tracks and then go all the way into Pauly every day. Um, or walk it every day. I, I, I have fond memories of that area. I don't think you're, are you allowed in there anymore? Didn't they like? I think, I think a couple of people got hit. Or yeah. Probably no. Well, if there's a beautiful bike path, use it, man. Oh yeah. 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 This, you gotta remember this was 30 years ago. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, today's, day when everything today's was... bulletin brought to you by Fresh Fair. Get your pre-made meals, get your unmade meals what do i mean by unmade you can get an unmade pizza that feeds two two small personal size i just put my order in i'm getting four pizza sets that way i can have pizza all week long best quarantine lunch available for you kids out there turn the oven on 400 degrees pop it in there 20 minutes later take it out wait five minutes so you don't burn your mouth off and then enjoy Hitch, how's uh, your cooking coming? Get that order in. Get that order in by 6 p.m. tonight or Thursday night. Fresh Fair, Schultz, Fresh Fair at gmail.com. Contact them. They drop it off. No Are you cooking right. anymore, Hitch? Oh. Or is that oh. it? Are you cooking what? anymore? I'm cooking. Are you cooking besides pizza? You're cooking with gas. Meaning we bought, we bought more propane to get the barbecue going. We not okay. only, um, I barbecued Brussels sprouts this weekend, actually. Went out on a limb, just went for it uh, to absolute no faith from. Brussels uh, sprouts are good roasting. No That's faith. Good. They're like, do a separate one in foil so we can eat that one. What, <laughs> one, what Brussels sprouts did everybody want to eat? What do you think? The barbecued ones. Barbecued ones. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just saying, that was great. Uh, we did steaks. We did ribs yesterday. Um, Hitch, it sounds like there's some hostility going on in your household right now. Yeah, no thing we that... also barbecued pizza. I tried that for lunch yesterday. It's great. Yeah, we've been living with these people for six weeks. <laughs> Brutal. Two days in a row, you don't get to escape the house. <laughs> you know what you do? You take them on a good activity, they just complain. <laughs> Oh. I was algebra one class last year. Excuse me, algebra two. All I did was complain to me. <laughs> Just preparing you for parenthood someday. That's what's preparing you for. Up. All right, we're we're gonna get out of here pretty quick, but uh, I would like to have one highlight. Like, what's one highlight from the last like five weeks for you, River, and for you, Spencer? Okay, I'm putting you on the spot. But what's something that happened that? You know, maybe you weren't quite expecting that was pretty cool. Um, Spencer, you want to go first? No. <laughs> no? Okay. I have no idea. Um, I recently started driving. Hey! Um, I'm yes. trying to, at least. Um, surprisingly, I'm really good at parallel parking. Hey. Even though I haven't even finished my permit at all. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's been fun starting to do that. Nice. Cooper's been driving too. Uh, yeah. He just turned 16, but he's behind in the, like he didn't get his permit early enough, uh, but, but he has his permit and we've been doing a little bit of driving, but it's tough right now because it'd be really easy if we had school because he would just drive me into school every day. And obviously he can't drive me into school now because I don't know what he would do here. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, he's been doing a little bit of driving and that's nice. Yeah, I've been driving like the roads in the Pomo that there's like nobody there, so it's just nice. Um, I've heard for some students that they're like they don't get to get their license; they're ready to get their license, but they're not doing driver's licenses right now. Uh, so you can't take the actual test, which is pretty brutal. Sorry, what'd you say, Hitch? You said it doesn't count as parallel parking if you're driving a car that you just push a button and it parks it for you. No, 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 no. It's true. <clears throat> you disabled that. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not driving with my dad. No. <laughs> How about you, Spencer? Um. Well, 
was starting, I took, or I called in sick to work on Saturday, and then on Sunday, they told us we didn't have to work, so I've been kind of excited about that, not having to work, um, and then they paid us for two weeks, and now I'm not getting paid, mm -hmm. but I'm okay with it. Did they shut the I'm store down? Mm-hmm, which yeah. is surprising. I didn't think they really, I don't know, a lot of stores seem to stay, stay open right now. So I didn't, not essential. Some, what, yeah. I, I didn't hear, what store do you work at? REI. Oh, that's right. I knew that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Gosh, yeah, I don't think they would. They would be making bank if they were open because everybody has so, all this free time to do to I go know. bike in and go do stuff yeah rei was one of the first companies to shut their storefronts actually they yeah were they were closed really up. early nice they have some great sales going on online they're emailing online me. yeah oh do they yeah. mm -hmm. so i'm one of the members or what else one am i i'm a part of your Co-op or cult, whatever you call it. Yeah, co-op. Yeah, the right? cult. The cult. The cult. The REI cult. Yeah, it's, <laughs> they get you. Let me tell you. Uh, all in. Yeah, but it's fun when you get that little check back. I just got one. See? Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I don't know for four dollars and seventy-five cents at REI, but. <laughs> all right. So you guys, uh, Spencer and River, you guys are going to kind of sign us off. Um, and all you're going to do is you're just going to give a little message out to your people. Um, give them a little encouragement or, or whatever it is you want to say um, in just a few seconds. Okay? All right. River, you're going to be first. Go. Um, everybody, make sure you uh, stay safe and do your work and have fun. Or at least try to have fun. And as a great man once said, later mission. <laughs> yeah like river said everybody keep up on your classwork and um stay safe stay indoors or enjoy the beautiful weather that we're having while you're social distance all right see you later mission thanks Thank for hanging with us guys good job uh, have a good monday It's a magic number, yes it is, it's a magic number, because two times three is, and three times six is, and the 18th letter is.